my friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. And in today's video, I am super excited because I'm going to be doing something that I've never done quite like this before. And I'm going to be making a monthly series out of this. And I've been wanting to do it for months now. And I don't know, other stuff just gets in my way sometimes, but I'm not letting it anymore. Now, I did get this idea actually from a collab I was involved in I want to say either earlier this year or maybe it was last year even, but I'll link that video in my description box. I did a collab with Andy, Leanna, and Ash. And I think Ash came up with this idea. Ash is so creative when it comes to stuff like this. But what we did is we grabbed or we chose five of our favorite brands that make eyeshadow palettes. We chose a palette, one palette from each one of those five brands, and then we chose a shade out of the palette, out of each palette to put our eye looks together with. I kind of cheated because I think in one of the palettes I took two shades for my look. <laughs> but at that point, I thought this would make such a great series on my channel, but I want to do it a little differently than that. I want to really challenge myself. So this is going to be called, or I'm calling this, the Fab Five. Now, I did get the, that name from my mother. Uh, it's kind of an homage to my mom, because when she was in high school, she was friends with four other women, and they were known around the school as the Fab Five. <laughs> so I just thought that was great, and I thought I would title this series after that, or with that in mind. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna be randomly generating five palettes out of my collection. I have my notebook here with all my palettes written down in, inside of it. So I'll randomly choose five palettes out of here. Then I'm gonna randomly choose a shade out of each one of the palettes and put my eye look together. Now there's gonna be some rules here, just a couple. Number one, if I have not used the palette yet, I'm not gonna include it until after I've used it. And I, I have my unused palettes are over there. I have a few, like three, I think, four. Yeah. Uh, and if the tones are exactly the same, I'm going to regenerate. Because if I get like a black matte out of one palette and a black matte out of the other, I mean, that doesn't really make any sense. I want the shades to be different. But if I get all mattes, oh well. If I get all shimmers, oh well. <laughs> Uh, I am a little nervous to be doing this, but I really think it's going to be fun. And that's what this is for, just for fun. I don't want to take this that seriously. It's just going to be a good time, I hope. Okay, so I do have my random number generator app up on my phone here. And also, I meant to mention this before, but I will be answering some random questions while I put my eye look together. I have a random question generator app too. <laughs> okay. Generate. This is 1 to 233, by the way. Uh, 51 is the first one. Okay. 51. Oh, ColourPop Dream Street palette. Okay. Awesome. All right. That's like my OG first palette I ever had in my life, really. 156. Okay. Oh, I have not used that one yet. Uh, I haven't used it yet. <laughs> Okay, 10, I know I've used that one, absolutely I have. 10 is Ace Beauté Flare Palette, ooh. Okay, so that's the second palette, so on to the third one. 178, all right. Oh, that's the Sydney Grace Tiny Marbles Palette. Oh, nice, okay, this, I think this is gonna be great. Fourth palette, 176, wait, didn't I just do that one, or no? Why does that sound familiar? I don't know. We'll figure it out. 176. No, is Sample Beauty the Rain palette. Okay. And then the last palette here. 37. Okay. 37. And that is BH Lost in Los Angeles palette. Uh. Okay. So I'm going to go round those up. And then I'm going to randomly generate a shade out of each palette. <laughs> okay, so I rounded up all of the palettes. And I'm going to randomly choose a shade out of each palette. And I'm going to write them down because I can just see myself forgetting that. Okay, so starting off with the BH Cosmetics Lost in Los Angeles palette. And there are 
16 shades in here. Okay, so let me grab my random generator app and I'm gonna change this to 16, 16, done. Okay, and let's generate the shade, nine. Okay, so that's, let's see, this one right here called Rush Hour. Okay, and plus I kinda wanna keep track of what I'm using, you know, I just think it'd be kinda fun. So VH, Lost in LA. Rush hour. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm shaking my phone. Okay, the next one is the Flare Palette from Ace Beauté. <laughs> Good. And this is 15 pans. Yeah, okay. So let's change this to 15. 15, done. Okay, generate. 12. 15, 14, 12. Atlantis. Okay. I mean, so far, <laughs> so far, not bad. So far, not bad. Right? Where I got, what's this called? Atlantis. Okay. Okay. The next palette is Tiny Marvels from Sydney Grace. And this also has 15 shades in it. Okay. So let's just hit generate again. 13. Uh, 14, or no, hi, 15, 14, 13. Okay, Death Moth. This might be a little tricky, but hey, I'm the one that said I wanted to do this. <laughs> okay, the next one is the Rain Palette from Sample Beauty, and this has 10 shades in it. So let's, okay, 10, generate. Eight, I guess I didn't show you the phone the last time. I just don't want to be accused of cheating. Uh, 10, 8, and this is, is that Noble, I think it says? Hold on, sorry. Noble, yes, okay. I'm, I'm kind of getting a rough idea of what I think I want to do with my eyeshadow. It depends on what I get in the Dream Street palette. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so the very last palette, this is the uh, ColourPop Dream Street ColourPop and Kathleen Light's Dream Street palette, my OG palette, and this has 12. So let's go to 12, done, okay, generate. 12, and that's this, okay. Okay, and that's, uh, is there a shade name? There's gotta be a shade name, but I don't even know if it's still on there. I've had this palette for years, let's see. Or no, I guess not. Oh yes, it's back here. Mer Mermaid Boy, I think. Yeah, Mermaid Boy. Okay. I don't think I ever realized in all the years I've had that palette that that shade was Mermaid Boy or that the shade names were on the back. Maybe. But, oh. Okay. So I've got some teals and some browns. I've got two shimmers, three mattes. It's pretty damn good. I'm really lucky with that. So I think I know what I'm going to do. I do. Okay, so I am going to go do my brows, put my primer on this eyelid, and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm sure you can tell I'm going to do a cut crease. I feel like that's really the only thing I can do <laughs> with this uh, to have it not get super muddy and weird looking. So what I think I'm going to do is put the brown shades, the brown leaning shades, up here and then put the tealy blues, that fuzz on my lid, no, the tealy blues across my mobile lid is what I'm thinking. So we'll see. So <laughs> this may not turn out well, but I'm hoping it does. So starting off with the Tiny Marbles palette, going into, oops, if I can open it, going into Death Moth first and putting that, starting the shape of the look with this shade. And I also have my random question generator app up here now. So let's start answering questions as I put my hair look together. The first question is, have you ever broken the law? And I have broken the law. I uh, jaywalked before and I actually got stopped for doing that. And that was when I was in college. And I was so pissed at the cop that I was a total smart ass because I just thought how ridiculous. Um, I was walking back from one of my classes and uh, I lived back behind this student housing. It was like family student housing. Uh, like there was the college campus and then like 
the student, the family student housing, housing was right behind a couple of the school buildings and then across the street, and then my apartment was, you know, right across from that. And so I walked through the uh, student housing section, like down these paths, and then I just walked across the street to my apartment, which, I mean, we'd all do that, all of us, every single one of us that lived over there, that's the route we took. And nobody said anything about it. And one day there was a police officer that happened to be parked in the parking lot of the student housing thing. And he just caught me walking across the street and he stopped me and was like, uh, I need to see your uh, license. I think he wanted to see my license, my ID. And, uh, I didn't have it on me cause I just had, you know, I think like my backpack that just had like the books I needed in my, like a pencil or whatever. And, uh, I basically just said, I'm not stopping. Like, and he, I said, what, what, what would you like me to do differently? And he said, well, you need to walk about, I don't know, quite a ways down and go cross at the crosswalk. And I'm like, no, <laughs> I said, that's ridiculous. We do this every single day. All of us do it every single day. Any, any of us that live in those apartments, we, that's what we do. We just cross right here. I said, I looked both ways. There were no cars coming. He was like, well, there could have been cars coming. I'm like, I don't care. I'm not, no. Not, no way am I gonna do anything with you. Like, this is ridiculous. And uh, he kinda, you know, wasn't real thrilled with my uh, answers, but he let me go. I mean, he didn't like detain me or anything like that, but uh, he was not very happy that I didn't stop and talk to him. Cause I just thought I'm not, you know, I guess, yeah, technically I was breaking the law, but I mean, it was just stupid. You know, I think once he realized how dumb it was, and that we all crossed there and then, you know, I was completely safe. He backed off. That's what I remember anyway. I mean, this was a long time ago. Uh, I also accidentally stole a book one time. I um, had gone with my ex, the kids' dad, uh, on a cleaning job that he had. Uh, he was like a um, janitor at this store uh, after it had closed that night. And so he would get there at like, I think the store closed at like 11 o'clock. So he would show up at like 1115 and he would, uh, clean the bank that was in the uh, store. That's great. It looks awesome. Very nicely pigmented. I think it applied well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the shade out of the rain palette, noble, this one here, and just lighten up the edge of that. But that'd be the best way to handle those two shades together. <laughs> so anyway, I would commonly go with him when he would do that. Just sit and chill and I don't know what, while well, he cleaned and whatever. And then we'd usually go like get Taco Bell or something like that afterwards. And I don't know that I like this brush. Mm, I don't like this brush. Hold on just a second. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try this brush. I think I just got too much shadow on the brush right here. For, so I'm probably going to have to go back in with the Death Moth shade and fix that a little bit. Because it's a little too much right there. Uh, but that's okay. Anyway, so I didn't bring anything with me this one particular evening. So I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go find a book in the store because, you know, it sold everything. It's kind of like a Walmart. So I go and find a book and I come back in to the little bank area and I'm sitting there reading the book and it was a really good book. And uh, it was like a true crime book. So I'm sitting there just reading. I'm totally enthralled. And as soon as he gets done, we leave. And I took the book with me. And all of a sudden, like we're, I don't know, in the car. And I'm like, oh, I stole the book. <laughs> I stole this book from the, oh my God. And we were like, well, you know, we could have gone back. And then we're like, screw it. <laughs> we're just going to, we're just going to take the book. I just took the book. So yeah, I mean, I feel like a real, I still feel like a jerk for doing that. But yes, I did take a book. So yeah, those were the crimes that I've committed in my life. <laughs> okay, the next question is, do you have any hidden talent? <sighs> do I have any hidden talent? Mm, I mean, I don't think so. I can't think of any hidden talent that I have unless it's so hidden. I don't know about it. Um, yeah, that looks really weird. I'm going to go back in with this brush and the death moth shade because I'm making this look really weird. I <laughs> love it. Um, 
Yeah, I don't really think I have any hidden talent. Um, I'm trying to come up with an answer so it's not completely lame and I'm not answering, but I just cannot think of any hidden talent that I have. I really can't think of one. Uh, I don't know that I love how this is turning out. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I'm going to keep messing with it and see if I can like it better, but I don't know. It looks really weird to me. Okay, the next question. What has been your favorite birthday so far? Um, My favorite birthday? My 21st birthday was pretty damn awesome. My parents and my Nana took me to Reno, and we had an absolute blast, especially my mom and I. Got, we had so much fun together. We gambled and we um, saw Greg Kinn perform at one of the casinos and one of the bars there. That was so cool. Um, and I'm not sure if you're familiar with Greg Kinn, but he sang Jeopardy, Our Loves in Jeopardy, and then the breakup song. And I can link those in my description box in case anybody wants to go and check them out. See if you remember who he is, if you don't, if you're not sure. Uh, but really enjoyed that, and we just had an absolute freaking blast, my mom and I, <laughs> and my dad and I, and my Nana and I too, but yeah, it was great, and you know, I was in college, and doing my fair share of partying, and I can remember, you know, like, ordering lots of drinks, <laughs> and while I was gambling, and my dad was like, oh my god, I mean, he still talks about that to this day, about how much alcohol I consumed and that I was still on my feet. And I know like the drinks they make you, the mixed drinks they make you when you're gambling, aren't they kind of weak? I don't know. Maybe they're not because they're free. I think they're kind of weak. Anyway, uh, I mean, I definitely was tipsy, but I wasn't like, you know, <laughs> I wasn't like completely incapacitated. I am not liking how this is looking. I just, I don't know, I have such a weird edge right there. I'm going to try to go back in with Death Moth and see if I can get that edge off because it looks really crappy. <laughs> okay, I've got it blended as well as I think I'm going to get it blended. I don't love it, but I got to move on or I'm never going to go to work this morning. <laughs> so I'm going to go and cut my crease with the Juvia's Place Prep Prime Eyeshadow Primer just to save time here. I'm going to go do that and then I will be back. Okay, so my crease is cut. And now I'm going to be putting the shades on my lid, my mobile lid. And I'm going to go inner to outer. That's just what I do when I do a cut crease look. I don't know why. It's just easier for me. So I'm going to start off by going into the Lost in Los Angeles palette. And I'm going to go into Rush Hour, putting that towards the front of the lid. And I'm going to answer another question, which is, do you want to get married? I am married. So that's kind of a dumb question. And yes, I wanted to get married. <laughs> uh, night in or night out? Night in. I mean, we do, well, do we have night? Yeah, we just went out, actually, we just went out to dinner with my uh, stepdaughter uh, a couple nights ago, which was really fun. Um, and, you know, we do go do stuff sometimes, sure. Yeah, we do. But um, I don't know. I just, in my old age, <laughs> I really enjoy being home. I've always been kind of a homebody, you know, really. And um, I just am really comfortable at home. Of course, and I took that too far out from the crease cutting. Damn it. <laughs> oh, well, I'll clean that up. Um, I can just use a little bit of my foundation or whatever to clean that up a little bit. Um, but I just, I, I don't know. I just have always loved being at home. I'm more comfortable. And so I would say night in. It's really nice to just lounge around on the couch with a blankie with some good snacks and watch movies or whatever. Next question is, what is the most romantic thing you have ever done for somebody? The most romantic thing I've ever done for somebody? <sighs> um, I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, I could go wake my husband up and ask him. <laughs> God, uh, what's the most romantic thing I've ever done for my husband? I mean, I've done, I probably have done romantic things for other people too, but I just can't think of anything. Um, so I'll go with uh, my hubby. Most romantic thing I've ever done for him. I cannot think of it. I mean, I, I've done like gotten him cute little things here and there and like, you know, 
got him stuff that he really liked and wanted and you know thought that was very sweet and you know I've paid for, you know offered nice dinners for the two of us to have and you know whatever but he's done the same thing for me so I don't know I mean it's whatever I've done that's the most romantic thing pretty I would say it's pretty standard stuff you know I have never really gone out of my way to do anything super off the wall or out of the norm I guess that's a gorgeous shade it's really pretty so I don't I don't know if that's kind of a dumb answer I just can't think of anything that I've done that's like super romantic <laughs> other than like hey you want to go out to a nice dinner and I'll pay you know that type of thing I think I'm done with this shade for now so I'm gonna leave that alone and I'm gonna go into the dream street palette oops dream street palette and I'm gonna go into this shade here called mermaid boy put that right there uh, what is your favorite snack? Oh, I like lots of snacks. Um, I'm really trying to cut back on the amount of candy I consume. So I haven't really been eating um, my freeze-dried Skittles. I haven't had those in quite some time. Plus, it was destroying my tongue. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a lot darker than what I was thinking it was going to be next to rush hour. But that's okay. I think this is going to turn out really cool. I just am probably going to have to go in with my finger and make that look a little more like, uh, not quite so harsh with each other, you know? Um, so right now, my favorite snack is Handles ice cream. I don't know if you guys have a Handles where you live. And actually, I want, uh, I want a different brush real quick. Hold on. Handles ice cream, if you don't have one in your town, uh, we have one here and it's so freaking good. It's just this really amazing ice cream. It's very creamy. It's got, they've got really great flavors. My favorite is either cake batter or um, peanut butter parfait. So good. And I'm telling you, my husband and I, we really love it there. Uh, we first discovered it in a town, not even in the town we live in. It was in the town we had traveled to. Bend, Oregon is when we first found handles. But I knew that we had one where I live. It's close to by, close by where I work. And so anyway, after we discovered it in Bend and then we got home, he's like, let's go to the handles by your work. I'm like, okay, you don't have to twist my arm. Okay, I'm going to go in with Rush Hour with my finger and just kind of smush those two together a little bit better. Um, so yeah, that's our favorite snack right now, both of ours is going to get ice cream but like day-to-day -day type snack where we don't have to like go anywhere um i really love like cheese and crackers i love cheese and crackers like i could live on cheese and crackers i'm not kidding so good <laughs> love it and i commonly eat cheese and crackers at work it's kind of like my lunch snack lunch slash snack and I'm gonna go into the mermaid boy shade and just plop a little bit of that on here too because I feel like I kind of dirtied up I have something weird on my maybe a, the primer on my finger I feel like I kind of dirtied that rush hour shade up a little bit but I like it because it's it's blending together a little bit better I think I'm just pushing those two shades together more anyway okay so now for the final shade I'm going to go into the Ace Beauté Flare Palette and I'm going to go into, of course, Atlantis and put this towards the outer part of the lid. <laughs> Another question. This might be my last question. Have you ever skipped school? Yes, I skipped school. I mean, not a lot, but I did skip school in high school. I mean, I didn't ever skip school in middle school because my mom was the teach a teacher at my middle school. So there's no way in hell I could have done it then. But I did skip school in high school. Uh, we all did. I mean, I mean, there's probably kids that didn't, I'm sure. But my friends and I, we did. Um, and then, you know, of course, we had senior skip day, which was amazing, where you could skip school. And it was, you know, uh, well, my mom, my mom let me skip school on senior skip day. Like, you know, your parents had to excuse you for that. You couldn't just skip school. Um, and some kids got in trouble because they weren't supposed to because their parents didn't okay it. <laughs> But I actually got in big trouble one year. Uh, I think it was my it was my sophomore year, I think. Yeah. I was dating this guy that was a senior, and he was a bad boy. <laughs> and 
and he basically had gotten kicked out of school uh, for no nothing major. He just, I think it was from, from skipping class. <laughs> he just, you know, was like, I'm not going to school. Uh, but, you know, really a neat kid, really smart and, you know, good guy, just being a dork. <laughs> and so they had kicked him out and um, he ended up going to like the local community college and got his GED. But anyway, we were dating. And so he would come to the school and hang out with me, even though he wasn't even supposed to be on campus. Uh, like we'd go to lunch and then he'd come hang out on the, I mean, just stupid. And I would skip my weight training class to go and hang out with him in the courtyard. It was dumb. Anyway, um, I'd skipped it a lot, like several times, and I got um, a notice in the mail, actually, because I would always get the mail and get rid of any evidence I didn't want my mom to see because I'd skipped before. Anyway, and um, it said something like, you know, you've skipped so many classes that you're in danger of, you know, not getting the credit or, you know, like flunking the class, basically. So, but if you can excuse your absences, then we'll basically be fine with it. That looks great. Although I do want to go back into, oops, gosh, the Kathleen Lights Dream Street palette and just kind of go with my finger with this and just kind of make sure that doesn't look quite so funky between the matte and the shimmer. Anyway, um, so I had my friend forge a note as my mother saying that these absences that I had, I'd like 10, were excused. And the woman who worked in our front office was not nice. And, uh, well, it's not her fault, it's my fault. I was doing the wrong thing. But anyway, uh, she looked, took one look at the note and she's like, I'm gonna call your mom and make sure your mom wrote this. And I wanted to just grab the note out of her hand. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And of course she called my mom. So my mom, of course, being a teacher, was not cool with this at all. So anyway, my mom comes to pick me up from school this one, this particular day, and I get in the car, and she drives out of the parking lot, and she's like, oh, that looks real. I, I really like this. I think it looks really pretty. Let me take this sticker off. Yeah, I like it. I don't love this up here, but, you know, all together, I think it does look really cool. I think the colors worked really well together. So for my first episode, this went really well. Anyway, let me finish my story. So... <laughs> Uh, we dr we're driving away from the school, heading home, and my mom says, how was your day today? I said, oh, fine. She goes, nothing you want to tell me? I'm like, no. In my head going, oh, shit. And she's like, are you sure there's nothing you want to tell me? And uh, I said, no, there's really nothing I want to tell you. She's like, okay, well, we're going to go back to school and meet with Dee, the uh, lady in the office, because apparently you turned in a forged note because you've been skipping class. And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, what the hell is going on? What are you doing? And I told her, I said, well, I'm hanging out with, this kid's name was Brian. I'm hanging out with Brian. And she's like, okay, no, you're not hanging out with Brian. You know, she, she'd met him and liked him, but thought that, you know, probably not her top choice for me, to, for a boyfriend. Anyway, uh, she said, you know, you can hang out with Brian after school at home when I'm home, but you're not going to cut class anymore to see Brian and you're going to suffer the consequences of your behavior, which was, I think I had to do 10 detentions. <laughs> Shit. So yeah. Yeah. So that was my skipped school story. Okay. So this is pretty folly outy. So I'm going to go clean this up. Of course, try to replicate this on my other eye. Wish me luck <laughs> and put the rest of my makeup on and I'll come back. So this of course is the finished look. And I really like it, actually. I really do. This is a color combination I don't think I ever would have put together before today. Uh, I, I still think I kind of lucked out because I could kind of group the shadows together to make it make sense for me, I guess. Uh, I'm very interested to see what future episodes of Fab Five are going to bring into my life and onto my eyelids. Because uh, I definitely think there's going to be more challenging looks down the road for sure. So let me show you everything I have on my face. And then I'll talk to you about the eyeshadows I put on my lids today. Okay, same exact base products I've been using in the last lots of videos. Uh, same bronzer, the Maybelline New York City bronzer in the shade 200. Now for my blush, I was like, what do I use? <laughs> I've got teal and like a swampy greeny brown shade shades. 
what, what? So I just grabbed the one that was on my desk. This is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blush in Spice Plum, right? Spice Plum, yeah, Spice Plum. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I don't know. But that's what I used. Same mascara, Maybelline New York Sky High. That is such a great mascara, I'm obsessed with it. For my upper lid liner, I was gonna use a fun pot gel liner, but I couldn't really find something I felt would go with this. And I, clashing can work sometimes, and sometimes it's just mm -mm, not cute. So I just thought, well, then I'll go with a brown. And this is the L'Oreal Paris Super Slim Infallible, I think it's like 16 hour felt tip liner in brown. And I like how it looks. Um, on my lips, I used a combination of two things. I went with the Unique Gloss, and this is in the shade Loved. And um, I felt like this might be a little bit too warm toned for the kind of cooler greeny brown on my lids. Not that they have to match exactly, but I just thought, I don't know. So I grabbed this. This is the H2O Gloss from Tarte. This, there's probably a shade. I don't know what happened. This is so old, but it's still, still got a little bit left in here. And so I just felt like these two together, I don't know. I just wanted a more subtle lip because I couldn't think of what else to do. And then for my inner corners, I used a shade out of the Aurora Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I used a shade right here called Orion, kind of like a light greeny blue. I don't know that I really needed anything in my inner corners with this look, but that's what I did. Okay, so now let's talk about the palettes and the various shades I used for this look. Uh, really like this matte shade out of the Ace Beauté Flare Palette, Atlantis. That is gorgeous. I felt like it's very pigmented and it just packed on very nicely in the outer V area. Uh, the Rain Palette shade, Noble. I mean, it's okay. It's just a light, light, tanny cream, sort of. And uh, I think it worked okay with this shade from Tiny Marvel's uh, Death Moth. But for some reason, I was having a tough time getting them to kind of jive well together. I think the end result is fine. I do. But um, those were the shades that kind of made me the nervous, most nervous, was this and the Rain palette shade, which normally I'd be more nervous about the teals. But I think in co conjunction with the, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the shade out of the Lost in Los Angeles palette, Rush Hour, Man, that's pretty. I think that looks beautiful in my uh, the front part of my lids. Gorgeous. I thought about popping that in my inner corners too. But I just went with the other one, other thing. And then the, the shade out of the Dream Street palette from ColourPop in collaboration with Kathleen Light's Mermaid Boy. That's probably my favorite shade that's on my lids today. Damn, that's pretty. Worked really well. So yeah, I mean, I think the cut crease technique served me very well for this color combination. I don't know that I could have done anything differently. I mean, maybe I could have, but it would have turned into a yucky, muddy, murky mess. And sometimes that'll work and sometimes it doesn't work. And I think these tones, I don't know that, that if I had tried to mix them all up, I don't know how that would have turned out. So let me know what you think of my look. Let me know what you think of my shadow placement. Maybe you would have done things differently. Oh, and on my lower lash lines, I just popped the Atlanta shade from the Flare palette, by the way, uh, from Ace Beauté. And uh, I'm really looking forward to continuing on with this series. I'm so happy that I'm finally doing this. I've been wanting to do this for months, a year maybe, I think. It's about damn time. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your lives to sit down and watch this video. If you're new here and you enjoyed what you saw, please consider subscribing, smash the like button, and of course, comment down below in the comment section. I love to chat with you guys there. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I cannot wait to see you guys again in my next video, but in the meantime, please take very good care of yourself. Be well, safe, happy, and I will see you soon. Bye. Drop it.